Mama, I'm wearing a hat. Here are the hats I'm hidden, just like this one. Stitch by stitch, Alexandra Kushnir from Kiev is knitting whenever she can. Kushnir is part of the Zigri, or Warm Up, volunteer movement. The goal is to make sure as many Ukrainian soldiers as possible are dressed warmly for the coming winter. Our plan worked because the hats and socks we need and send to the front lines. The guys write back to us and ask if we can send some more. Yulia Savostina is co-founder of Zigri. Her husband and her brother are fighting on the front lines. She began knitting for them, and the idea took off. Today, some 2,000 volunteers are knitting along with her. Many displaced women joined us. They have nothing but they know how to knit. They get in touch and ask only for yarn. Knitters from other countries have joined the Ukrainian women in their effort. Yerina Solnichna, for example, organized a knitting group in Germany. We posted ads in all local newspapers, and we have a special location where we get the yarn. Anyone can join the movement online, and those who can't knit but would love to help are welcome to help collect yarn. That's what Jana Bezdudna, who lives in Norway, is doing. So I thought I would ask people if maybe they have some leftover yarn lying around. I can collect it and send it over to Ukraine. At the moment, volunteers have over 200 kilograms of yarn in the works. New yarn or ready products are first sent to Kiev and then to the front lines. Almost all knitters add a kid's drawing or a letter. Some print out prayers. They put in candy, candied fruit, jam, common teas. When we get these packages, we cry. The volunteers say their hats warm soldiers inside and out as they prepare for a long and dangerous winter. For Lisa Bokalets in Washington, NRIs, VOA News.